going to discuss about the topic introduction to PDNF and PCNF. Still, those who are not subscribed, welcome to our channel. Please subscribe our channel for more videos and click bell icon to receive notification. In this video, we are going to discuss about what is mean by PDNF and what is mean by PCNF. Before we are going to discuss about these two topics, we are going to understand what is max term and what is min term. Because these two terms are essential to understand the topic PDNF and PCNF. Okay. So first we are going to discuss about what is meant by max term. Let P and Q be two statement variables. Let us construct all possible combinations of these two terms which consist of distinction of P or its negation P or distinction of Q or its negation such that none of the formula should contain both the variable and its negation like that uh, p or negation b when we have this kind of terms then we call it as elementary sum okay so none of the formula should contain both p term or both q term in our max term okay so when we construct uh, the combination of p and q we get P or Q, P or negation Q, negation P or Q, negation P or negation Q. These are our max terms. Okay. Using commutative law, if any two terms are equivalent means, for example, when we get the answers like uh, P or Q and Q or P, then these two terms are equivalent. Then we have to eliminate any one of the term. Okay. Or we have to choose any one of the term. For our answer, okay. So, collect the remaining term. They are called max terms, okay. The possible max terms with the two variables are P R Q, P R negation Q, negation P R Q, negation P R negation Q. Okay, so these are called max terms. For min terms, there is only one little difference. That is, in instead of we are using disjunction, we are going to use conjunction. Okay, that is the and symbol. Okay, so here also we are going to take two statement variables. Let us let P and Q. And for P and Q, we are going to construct all possible combinations which consist of conjunction of P or its negation and conjunction of Q or its negation. Here also none of the formula should contain both the variable and its negation like that. Okay, using commutative law, if any two terms are equal and choose any one of the term the remaining terms are called main terms okay this is the difference between both terms okay here combination of distinction here combination of conjunction and here we using the or symbol here we using the and symbol okay for n variables the number of min terms or the number of max terms is 2 power n here the variables are 2 for two variables, the number of min terms or max term is 2 power 2. 2 power 2 means 4. For three variables, the number of min terms or max term is 2 power 3 means 8. So, in this way, we are going to construct the possible combination. Now, we are going to try to understand what is meant by PDNF and what is meant by PCNF. In PDNF, for a given statement formula, that means for a given question, an equivalent formula consisting of Distinction of min terms only is known as its principal disjunctive normal form or in short form PDNF. Okay. So, distinction of min terms. Distinction means or symbol. Min terms means we are already seeing. In between two terms, the and symbol is come. Okay. So, PDNF means one term is min term, next or min term or min term or min term. In that way, the terms are going. Okay. In PCNF, for a given state, statement formula or for a given question an equivalent formula consisting of conjunction of max term so conjunction means and max term means in between two variables we are going to put or symbol okay so the pcnf forms looks like max term and max term etc and max term okay so this is the format for pcnf and this is the format for pdnf pdnf is also called as sum of products canonical form pcnf is also called as product of sums canonical form okay so also you have to note one point pcnf and pdnf of a given statement formula need not be unique okay so the answer may be different 
in some other situation when we apply the rules in different way okay so the answer should not be unique so this is the point you have to remember in your mind pcnf and pdnf of a given statement formula need not be unique so this is about what is meant by pcnf and what is meant by pdnf and also we are already see what is meant by max term and what is meant by mean term if you like this video then share it with your friends thanks for watching